let's say a and b are two real numbers and z is a complex number let's say a plus ib then z uh, bar over that and it is read as a bar z is called conjugate of the complex number if the real part is same and imaginary part is also same but just differ in sign then that time this bar z is called the conjugate of the complex number z all right so what i can say that here z bar you know this z bar is the conjugate of is the conjugate is the conjugate of z all right so conjugate of a complex number simply means a number a complex number having same real part same imaginary part but differ in sign imaginary part differ in sign then that time that is called uh, conjugate of the complex number let's say i have a complex number 3 plus i4 all right then the conjugate of the 3 plus i4 will be 3 minus i4 here if you look the real part is same 3 3 and the imaginary part is also same but if you look at the sign of the imaginary part here it is plus and here it is minus so that's why real part is same imaginary part is also same i mean both the parts are same but just differ in sign i mean the sign of the imaginary part is different so we can say that these are conjugate of each other conjugate of each other all right i can say uh, here 3 minus i4 is the conjugate of 3 plus i4 similarly i can say 3 plus i4 is the conjugate of 3 minus i4 so if it is let's say 2 plus 3i then the conjugate will be yes 2 minus 3i and what will be the conjugate of 2 minus 3i definitely the opposite of the sign first real part will be same and this minus will turn into the plus and 3i what do you get you get the same thing all right so if you do the twice of conjugate the conjugate of z and you made again uh, i mean you made the conjugate of the z that is z bar and if you do the conjugate of that again all right z bar that means double z bar then that will turn to the z again all right keep that in mind if you do the double conjugate of a of a complex number you're going to get the same uh, the initial one the initial complex number all right we have certain properties of conjugate of complex number so that we're going to learn in the next video all right i'll see you in the next video goodbye